So in uh, this video, I'm going to show you how to use the various types of watch faces. So to get started, go ahead and click on your watch app. And you can see right here under My Faces, these are those five watch faces that I have loaded on my app, on my watch, sorry. And you can easily scroll through them here just like you can on the watch. So you just scroll from left to right and I'm not sure what the limit is on how many watch faces you can load. Presumably you can load as many as you need. So uh, I'm going to talk first about the first one which is the modular app and so if I click on it I can see um, all of the options for changing complications which are also they call apps that you can put on a watch base complications. So I use this um, sort of muted, low color watch face as my sleep app. So when I go to bed at night, I always swap to this watch face. And you can see here that it simply gives me the time, the date. I use Auto Wake, which is an app that will uh, wake you automatically when you're at an optimal in an optimal sleep phase. I'll do a video on that at some other time. And I have some simple um, complications here. The Breathe app, so that in the morning when I wake up, I try to capture my heart rate, my or not my heart rate, but my breathing rate, by clicking on this immediately when I wake up in the morning. So I'm doing this for my watch, you understand. And then I have the Motions app, and then the Heart Rate, Beats Per Minute Heart Rate app. So um, these are like the color of this modular watch face is to me very soothing for sleeping. And I haven't changed it. I um, You can put different colors on it by just clicking on the different colors here. But I tend to keep it in this sort of pale um, orangey gold color because that's what works for me. So let's take at the take a look at the next one which is an infograph watch. So this infograph face is set up for vacation or for me a staycation. I'm currently on a staycation. So uh, what it has is health and well-being apps installed in the upper left hand corner. You can see or the top left you can see the messages and on the top right the weather because I like to know what the weather is while I'm off so I can go out and take a walk when it's not raining or not too windy or not too cold. And in the bottom right, I have phone calls. We're in the holiday season. I uh, have been calling a lot of family members and talking to people through messages and phone calls. In the bottom right-hand corner, I always like to have a timer because I do like to do more than one thing at a time. So if I'm cooking, I'll just easily, you know, I can easily click on the timer, which is in the bottom left position on the outside of the watch face and just pull up some quick timers there. Uh, in the uh, what is called the sub dial which is the inner dial at the top is the top uh, sub dial is heart rate. Sub dial left is activity so I can make sure that I'm getting all my steps in at work. I tend to move around a lot and stand a lot and walk a lot and while I'm on vacation I don't want to get out of the habit of doing those things. On the subdial uh, right is the Breathe app. I do meditate every morning, but now and then throughout the day I like to make sure that I take a moment to just breathe. And the subdial bottom is the workout app because of course I'm continuing to work out. The staycation for me is all about uh, health and well-being. So the next app is just a, is a photos app and I have it synced with a favorites album on my phone for, so it's getting photos from my phone and it periodically changes the photos um, and you can sync it to different photos. You can also say where you want different things to be like if you want the time to be at the bottom you can put it there. If you want it to be at the top you can put it there. There are two complications loaded uh, positions for complications on this watch, and I have the date set above the time. But you, I could pick 
something else like drafts or something but I just happen to like the date there that's all I need for this and then I can do a calendar at the bottom I don't really look at this very much I don't need a calendar on this photos app I could probably just change that to something else like audiobooks or I don't know weather um, but I'll just leave it on the calendars app now and so I could set this to my current watch face or I could remove this so you always have these options set as current watch face remove watch face on each as you're editing each of the watch faces so that's the photos one this motion one I have just for fun what happens is when you're wearing your watch and you look at this uh, watch face or tap on it the when you move the butterfly flaps its wings it's kind of fun you could also select some flowers or some jellyfish right now I'm just enjoying the butterflies and similar to the photo apps you can have position in this one for three complications and I have the weather and the middle is the date and the bottom is the heart rate frankly I don't I, I just look at this for fun I don't really use this uh, watch face functionally I just like to make the butterfly move sometimes so it's for entertainment for my own entertainment so my next um, app or sorry watch face is my weekend watch face and I look at these watch faces on the weekend um, this watch face on the weekend I wish you could rename the watch faces that as you after you edit them and put them on your phone and maybe save them because I have occasionally gotten into the wrong watch face and edited some things and then thought oh that's the wrong watch face I didn't want to edit that one sometimes I can't remember um, what I had set up there but the weekend watch face is a mix of idea capture timer i messages and exercise so um as always on that top left is messages on the top right is weather and on the bottom left is the timer i automatically um it's almost a muscle memory now uh, go for when i want a timer i know i'm just going to open raise my wrist and hit that bottom left corner of my watch to um, set a timer and likewise to send a message or read my messages I know those are always in the upper left hand corner because that's where I put them whether upper right and then in the sub on the bottom right I have voice memos because I think this is a this voice memo only lets you record about uh, 10 or 15 seconds of a voice memo so it's not very long but if I'm driving in particular or outside walking and I want to I have an idea that I want to uh, pursue I'll just do a quick voice memo and then it just saves it and I can listen to it when I get back to my house and um, write it down or take it to the next level likewise the um, Subdial at the top is drafts if you don't know about drafts it's like a note-taking app and all you do is you click on it and in the on the phone when you click on drafts you have an option to just go ahead and do a voice memo or you can um, I think you can type I don't remember but I know you can do a voice memo and that's usually how I use it because the watch face I have the smaller iPhone 4 watch face and so I, I'm not really into um, typing on that tiny screen if that's even availability you'll have to look for that yourself on the right uh, subdial right is the activity subdial left is fantastical app I do like to check my calendar on the weekend because I, on my calendar um, I have my personal calendar and my work calendar synced Fantastical is what I use for my work calendar, but I can also see weekend events that we're planning. Subdial right activity, subdial bottom, always the workout app. And so that's how I use that weekend app. Um, and let's go back here. And then my work app is um, all about work. 
I play around with this um, this watch face more than anything but as usual messages top left weather top right timer bottom left exercise sub dial bottom and the bottom right uh, top sub dial left and right sub dials are flexible and I that's where I mostly play around with having my email as I have the sub dial top is my mail on the sub dial left is to do drafts it does typically show up on most of my watch faces sometimes I swap that out for bear or Ulysses and um, I just play around with whatever's working for me whatever if it's not working I just go ahead and uh, find a different app. So I play around with these a lot. But most importantly, you'll have noticed that I position certain ubiquitous, what I call ubiquitous, apps in the same place. And so we're going to talk about um, the next rule, rule three, which is the placement of often used or ubiquitous apps or complications in the same spot on all of your watch faces. So this helps you to create a habit of reaching for the same spot automatically when you raise your wrist and you want to text someone or get your exercise app going or check the weather. So this just makes it easier and more efficient for you to use your Apple Watch to the best ability. And so Next up, we're going to talk about rule four. So rule four is that you put your watch faces in a logical order of use. So the watch faces here are in a logical order of use. That logical order is whatever makes sense to you. Um, you you want to make some of these swipes automatic in the same way you might use keyboard shortcut shortcuts that have become automatic. So if you go to your watch faces and click on edit, then you get a list. These are the five watch faces that I have loaded on my watch. And while I am on vacation, I'm mostly swiping between the modular, the sleep one, which is the top one, and the second one down, which is my staycation watch face. And then occasionally playing with the photos and the motion app, so just for a little bit of fun. You can see that my um, weekend app and my work apps are down at the bottom because I don't need to, I don't want to have to, if I put my weekend app down at the bottom, I'd have to swipe through all of my watch faces in order to get to the watch face that I want. After my staycation is over, I'll probably just... Um, do a screenshot of the uh, vacation app or my staycation watch face and just take it off of my watch altogether. Alternately, when my staycation's over, I could just move it down to the bottom. But right now, I'm going to put it right back up here because I'm really using this function. Um, on the When I go back to work after the holidays are over, it's very likely that I will put my work app or work watch face sorry right next to my sleep watch face which is the top watch face sleep watch face for me always goes at the top um, and but right now I'm going to put that back before I forget and then mess myself up and then I would probably do like this let's see sleep work weekend is what I would do and then the bottom three are optional but this way to do when I go back to work sleep work weekend are the three that I would mostly be scrolling through so let me put those back down where they go and so now I have sleep staycation and two fun watch faces and so that's how I get the most out of my watch faces um, to remove a watch face, all you have to do is click on the red dot with the minus sign on the left. And to move it, you, you just push down or tap lightly on the three bars and just drag the watch face into position. So you can explore that. Um, explore 
the watch face uses put as many watch faces as you need or as few as you need and have fun with this okay thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this please don't forget to like and subscribe